My name is uh, Maristiana Onono. I am a medical doctor and a senior principal clinical research scientist uh, working with Camry. Um, on this project, I am the country director uh, for the project and also the co-principal investigator uh, covering Kisumu, the Kisumu site. Uh, this study was conducted in, um, in three sites, that's Kisumu, in Nairobi, and in Thika, uh, together with my colleagues, Professor Elizabeth Bukusi, Dr. Nelly Mugo, and Dr. Betty Njoroge. We know that cervical cancer is, you know, the number two leading uh, cancer in sub-Saharan Africa and the number one in terms of uh, mortality. Um, and that we know that HPV in itself is a necessary cause of cervical, of cervical cancer. And there are existing HPV vaccines which have been approved and are available for use uh, in uh, preventing cervical cancer. However, there's been very low coverage uh, and low uptake, particularly uh, of the, multi, the standard multi-dose uh, requirements um, required with these doses. So we know that the girls nine to 14 years are supposed to get um, about uh, two doses, and the girls who are above that are supposed to get uh, three doses. And this has been uh, challenging in terms of the costs and also in terms of the logistics. So the main objective of this study was to find out if a single dose HPV vaccine given to girls who are older than 14, so looking at the 15 to 20 years, um, does this uh, prevent uh, cervical cancer uh, at the same uh, rate or uh, what we call non-inferior to uh, the standard, you know, uh, two dose regimen and three dose regimen that we are currently giving. We hoped that in demonstrating uh, uh, non-inferiority or the fact that this thing actually works, which, uh, you know, that then we can address the issue of cost, we can uh, address the issue of effectiveness and, um, uh, you know, reducing the logistics of, of delivering two doses. The key findings of this study showed that a single dose uh, HPV vaccine, whether it is the bivalent, that is, it's preventing uh, the two main types of uh, HPV which cause cancer, that is 16 and 18, or whether it was the nonavalent, which, which protects against uh, nine types. Uh, the effectiveness was 97.5%. Uh, we had about 38 uh, infections or, ha happening all throughout. Eh? And in the bivalent arm, the one with the two, we had only one infection. In the nonavalent arm, which protects against nine, we had uh, one infection out as well. And then in the arm, which was not receiving the bivalent or the nonavalent, who we gave this meningococcal vaccine, there were about 33, uh, 33 infections. Eh? And so actually, 36. Yeah, so you find that um, the effectiveness was about 97.5%. This study is very important for, for policymakers and for decision makers. The opportunity that these results give to policymakers is one, a decrease in cost. Yeah, if you are vaccinating a 10 year old, um, you can add on an 11 year old. If if you are vaccinating a 9 to 14 year old, you can now add on an additional uh, cohort of the 15 to 20 years. You've essentially doubled, you know, and when you're, when you're doubling the coverage, you're essentially increasing effectiveness and your chances of eliminating uh, cervical cancer are actually accelerated. 